the compressibility factor. A more quantitative study of equation of ideal gas approximation can be conducted by introducing compressibility factor Z equals to specific value gas constant and temperature or PV equals to Z R T. Note that for an ideal gas Z equals to one and the deviation of Z from unity is a measure of the deviation of the actual relation for the ideal gas equation of a stated deviation of from the unity is a measure of the deviation of the actual relation from the ideal gas gas equation of estimate Figure below shows the last picture. This figure shows this figure shows a skeleton compressibility chart for nitrogen. From this chart we make three observations. The first is that all temperature Z equals to as P tends to the zero so the first is when then the z tends to one these points for example that is as the pressure approaches zero the PVT behavior closely approaches that predicted by the ideal gas of the state. Second, at the temperature of 300, at the temperature the T Kelvin and above. these areas the compressibility factor in near unity up to a pressure of about 10 megapascal set up to 10 megapascal pressure and This means that the ideal gas equation of S8 can be used for nitrogen over this range and with considerably accuracy. Considerable accuracy. Third, at lower temperature, 
or at very high pressure, the compressibility factor deviated significantly from the ideal gas for low temperature. or high at high pressures these areas and this area moderate density forces of attraction trend to pull molecules together resulting in the value the lower than one so the most moderate density force attraction tend to pull molecules together resulting in Lower than one. Whereas very high density forces or repulsion tends to have two opposite effects. If you examine compressivity diagram for other pure substances, we find that the diagram are similar in the characteristics described above for nitrogen, at least in the quantitative sense. Quantitatively, the diagrams are all different. Since the critical temperatures and pressures, these points also described before in this, in the T, we also we have the critical points also. Uh, the Critical temperature and pressure of different substances and vary over wide ranges and indicated by the value listed in table 2. Critical. So. Points. Is there a way we can pull all of these substances on a common basis? To do so, we reduce the properties with the respect to the value of the critical point. The reduced properties are defined as reduced pressure. PR P on PC reduce the temperature TR T on TC where PC is critical pressure and TC equals to critical temperature. D 
this question states that the reduced properties for a given state is the value of these properties in the state divided by the value of the same properties of the critical point in the line of the constant t r reduce the temperature plotted on a z versus p r diagram a plus such as that in the figure here The striking fact is that when Z, you have versus PR diagram are prepared for a number of substances, all of them nearly coincide, especially when the substance have the molecules are reasonably close, except near or at saturation or at high density. Thus, the figure D1 here, this picture, is actually a generalized, generalized diagram for simple molecules, which means that it represents the average behavior for a number of simple substances. When such a diagram is used for a particular substance, the results will be generally be somewhat in error. However, if PVT information is required for a substance in a region where no experimental measurement have been made, this generalized complexity diagram will give reasonably accurate results. We need to know only the critical pressure and the critical temperatures used to use this basic generalized chart. So we have generalized chart here for data that not available in experimental work. So with the reduced PR, TR and Z, we can obtain the critical pressure and critical temperature. In our study of thermodynamics, we will use this figure primarily to help us decide whether in a given circumstance it is reasonable to assume model gas behavior as a model. For example, we note from the chart that if the pressure is very low, The ideal gas model can be assumed with good accuracy. Ideal gas with good accuracy. regardless of the temperature. Furthermore, at high temperature, the ideal gas model can be assumed with good accuracy, as we also mentioned before, at high Temperature 
ideal gas is root approximation the ideal gas root approximation up to pressure as high as the 4 or 5 times to pc 5 pc up to 5 times to the critical pressure when the temperature is land less than about twice the critical temperature and pressure is not extremely low we are in a region commonly termed superheated area so when the temperature less than twice of the critical temperature and the pressure is not extremely low moderate pressure or not extremely low We are in the region commonly superheated vapor. in which the deviation from the ideal gas behavior may be considerable. In this region, it is preferable to use table of thermodynamics particles or chart for a particular substance, as discussed before. The next section is about the equation of a state. 